How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Conclave up in this piece, in the form of their heir apparent. Yes, this be a 6.5% hazy India Pale Ale. I love these guys. Um, I haven't got down there a ton because of COVID times, but I was running through the uh, area and was lucky enough to there where they not not just released a beer, but released something I really want to drink, which is low ABV hazies. And I think they do them quite well, so we'll see how this sucker plays out. Label-wise, they switched to this kind of graphic kind of um, line work uh, stuff a couple, a year and a half, maybe two years ago, and I'm a big fan of it. So I really did the art design that they do on their stuff. Um, let's see, this beer is, at the time of filming, this beer is a day and a half old, <laughs> literally. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like a big turbid hazy, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, look at it. It's just rich orange core, a little bit of cataract edges, but it doesn't have that kind of relatively, you know, six and change. Is it 6.5? Yeah, 6.5%. It doesn't have that lowerish ABV kind of look to it. It looks a little bit heftier. Pinky finger, infinitely tight, compact bubbles, neurotic stuff towards the top. Yeah. Looks like the juice. Good nose. Not a huge nose here. I mean, it is kind of like prickly apricot, apricot, apricot grapefruit skin. That's kind of what I get off of it. Um, not overly sweet. Six point five percent. You're not expecting a huge sweet beer to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, definitely leaning towards the bittering side, but not like a like a crazy, like, West Coast-style bittering, obviously. It's more of just this kind of pithy, um, aggressive bittering uh, in that kind of apricot, -y, sl apricot slash kind of grapefruit pithiness kind of thing going on. Yeah. I think I'm going to dig this. I hope I'm going to dig this, because that's all I'm really getting in the nose. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay, I kind of follow suit in the taste. It's not a big beer. It's soft. It's got that super soft, almost pretty much water nerdy kind of mouthfeel to it. It's got some nice softness to it. That bittering is nice. It's sharp at first, drops, but then levels off. So it doesn't completely go away, but it's not overly um, aggressive. And the reason why that's good is because the beer isn't overly sweet. If it kind of just kept that aggressive bit of bittering that it peaks at, I think it would be a little bit too much um, for this kind of beer. Underripen fruit, pithiness is the name of the game here. So, underripen apricot, pithy grapefruit, nothing overly sweet, underripenness, in a very drinkable, fun way. I could get on my soapbox and bitch about ABV here. A perfect world, this is 5.5, but I'm not hating it at 6.5. Um, it's tasty. I mean, it reminds me very much of like organically kind of squeezed underripen fruit juice. Um, so, in that sense, it's a, a juicy beer. And it, it kind of gives me a lot of the things I really do dig in beer in general. Um, uh, you know, the proper attenuation. It's not overly sweet. Um, it finishes a little bit dry. When you're talking about the IPA, it's giving me a little bit of those fruit characteristics, but not getting over the top. And the bittering. The bittering is probably the part where I would, in a perfect world, tweak it a little bit. In a perfect world, it would be that green grass in this, but not everybody does that. It just... The bitterness, while more pithy than anything, for me, pithiness is almost a synonym for bitterness without personality, because um, that's kind of how pith comes off. I, you know what I'm talking about. You eat an orange, you eat a grapefruit, you, you peel the skin off, but then you get that big, thick portion between the skin and the actual orange itself. You peel that off, and you, if you ever eat that, it just has that bittering but not much of the citrus stuff. Like, that's you know what I'm talking about. That kind of uh, bittering with not a ton of personality. That's the biggest knock I would give this beer, but it's not really a knock because the beer comes off as soft, as subdued, as rounded. Even though that quick pop of bittering is considered sharp, the grand scheme of things is the beer is a wide berth. There's not a huge screaming kind of personality to it. And it works in that sense. Do I want the volume a little louder? Sure. Give me... I could even do with just a touch more sweetness, a touch more vibrance in that fruitiness, even giving that bittering pithiness a little bit of personality. But you're talking about a two-day-old beer, too. Day-and-a-half-old beer. I think this might drink a little bit better about, you know, you know, two, three weeks down the road, to be perfectly honest with you. Where it sits now is, is fun. 
tasty. I think it's going to open up a little bit and be a little bit fun. You're talking about 6.5%. Like I said, I'd like it to be smaller, but I'm not going to get too angry about it. Nothing negative about the beer. There's no off flavor or anything like that. I like it. I dig it. I think it's fun. I'm glad I got to stop by. Let's put it that way. It's been a while since I've, I've picked myself up some Conclave. I know I've got some stuff from my buddy Keith and things like that. But it's different when you pick it up yourself. I dig this. So let's talk about it. Is this one of the better 6.5% proper ABV level IPAs I've had as of late? It's worthy of being in a conversation. It's not Mount Rushmore status. It's a very hard top four to get into because there's so many great mid-level kind of hazy IPAs. I mean, you know, stuff from Hot Butcher, things like that come to mind, but it's tasty. It's fun. And honestly, I got a really soft spot in my heart. Maybe I'm a little bit skewed, but Conclave is probably one of my favorite breweries put a period on the end of that one so i always dig what they do and uh, i like this uh value availability i don't remember what i paid for this what did i pay for this i paid hmm i it had to be 15 16 bucks a four but it had to be maybe a little bit more i don't care it's covid types for a brewery i dig i don't mind it i mean abv in perfect world i'd want this beer i keep seeing perfect world on this review a lot um you know i'd like this beer to be closer to i don't know 14 but it is what it is if, if, if charge 18 bucks for a four pack keeps breweries open there and this time i have no qualms paying that price and leave you with if you like what we like this beer if you like your hazies to be balanced not overly sweet, not undering, bit, uh, not overly bittering, and just have a nice balance to it. Have a drinkability, drinkability to it. Want that water nerdiness, and just like good breweries doing good things, you'll like this. So there we go. Another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it down there. If you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive, massive, not massive, massive. Uh, if you want to check me out doing the podcasting thing, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, I'm doing a little conclave right now. Hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.